Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can maximize your earning on YouTube and if you have a website or blog site, how you can increase your AdSense income and how to go about. So the important thing is to know when you have a YouTube channel, if you're talking about a tech channel or any channel and you're monetized already, this is how you can increase your CPM is cost per mill, which is the advertisers they pay Google charges the advertisers amount for a thousand views and RPM is when uh, run per mill, which is the amount that AdSense or Google pays you so let's dive in and have a look so the important things you must have a look is what what triggers an advert what kind of keywords triggers an advert for so if you have a look so say if you're doing cooking right cooking right so here we are as you can see cooking keywords there you go hardly any advert cooking useless keyword look but it gets thousands and millions of millions of searches right not even one single advert nobody's targeting cooking so how many people actually are searching for cooking keyword look 1,310,000 or 1 billion website contains the word cooking so useless to target cooking on the other hand if you are doing a, a dieting niche for example and you're writing a blog or you have a YouTube channel weight loss or lo lose weight always going to be tracked advertisers lose weight okay there we are as you can see straight away national health service that's an ad for national health service another one um, for a dieting company or loss weight loss there's two there if you go down anymore not much just two for that keyword okay now if we were to do lose belly white fast let's have a look there we are look at those ads one two three four five six and I can go on I look at whole of this page it's advertises at the bottom look there's another one now If we were to use another term lose belly fat as you can see it's giving you for man fast running all that kind of keyword all right let's have a look at that again the same Edward appears if we were to use a quotation mark and see how many actual ads are showing not much and these are just so whenever you're doing your keyword research it's best to go for the keyword that are triggering ads that way you make money now if I were to put this one low calories meal for example You know, if you put up a bunch of useless target keywords on your description on your YouTube video, you are highly likely unlikely to get. Look, look at this. This one doesn't even track anything. That keyword there, 
low calorie meal it hardly attracts any advertisers but let me find another one now this one here fat value reduction that will attract hopefully some so whenever you do your keyword for your title you know you got to make sure that these keywords are triggering ads here we are sorry about that somebody called up right so there you are as you can see it's one ad here and another one here and another one here look these are all google ad three ads for the keyword And down here at the bottom, look, we've got not some more ads. One, two, three more. So six ads for that tar targeted keyword. Now, obviously I'm showing these are the keywords that I, I I'm targeting for my campaign. So that's what I'm showing you. Again, look, look at these ads. How many ads for that particular oh my word look for that particular terms you see so if I'm doing a a website for example I'm or a blog post and I'm using tablet to stop bad breath for example like keyword somewhere it will trigger ads on your site or YouTube channel if you're talking about bad breath this is it look. Look at that amount of ad. Look, Amazon. Look again. That's not ad. This is one here down there. Let's let's go down a bit. Look again. Look at the bottom. They've got ads. So it's important to always to find keywords that triggers ads, and not to just randomly put up any any old words this is how successful uh, marketeers and you know people in that kind of affiliated marketing they, they look for now this is another keyword here as you can see it's not attracting any ads look but if i show you bad morning breath remedies it's not attracting any ads because this is a very very good keyword believe it or not if I were to put the quotation mark within that will search how many searches is getting look it only has five results look only five pages look so if I were to do a, a blog post on a website using bad morning breath remedies bad morning breath I will easily rank for the keyword now if I had to just get rid of bad word and morning bad remedies again look three result but just because you do a blog post or website on this you have to see how many traffic is, it, is this keyword are generating enough traffic so the way to do this is you obviously you can go to google keyword planner and have a look or i use a tool years ago this tool used to be free now you have to pay for it as you can see i've got credit left here called keyword keyword everywhere so what this do is whenever you type a keyword it will suggest i'm in the uk so it's suggesting me there's only 10 search a month for this keyword cpm which cost per click is nothing composition is low so it will be useless for me to target that word okay 
So if we go down belly fat reduction. Okay, look, there is the, the terms here and keyword everywhere suggesting cost per click. If we do that, belly fat reduction, so obviously gives you the advert here. So all this advertisements at the bottom here. If we go down, here you got look one, two, three, or so much, so much advertiser for belly fat reduction. Look. And here, keywords that we are suggesting, UK volumes, how to lose belly fat in a week, 2,400 search, cost per click, advertiser are paying for that targeted keyword, one pound and 17. So if they're paying one pound 17, you will get cut of that if you have a website or blog post or YouTube channel talking about weight loss. Okay, again, here is the keywords. Here is the CPM. Um, advertisers are paying for that thousand impression on Google Ads. Look. Here's one, how to lose everywhere. This is the amount of money they're paying. So once again, I hope this video has provided you with some info. If it has, then please click the like and subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching.